it's just internet issues but thank god it's connected now and we can now tarry in god's presence and share the word hallelujah Lord, by your word. Welcome, Bola I'm so blessed to have you. If you can hear me, just, um, can you just share an emoji, Rashion? Because the internet was giving me issues. But if you can hear me, please, um, use an emoji. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Thank you. It is so real. Thank you, sir. I can see it. God's word is true. God's word is powerful. God's word is so real. You know, the Bible says it is sharper than any two edges word. And the Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass. But not a jot of God's word will go unfulfilled. Hallelujah. Lord, by your word, blind men receive their sight. Oh, Lord, by your word, walked on water. Lord, by your word, raging sea was calm. Your word is true, and your word is powerful. Lord, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Welcome to day two of securing your word for manifestation. Praise be the name of the Lord. My name is Anoluak Posimi Adileko, and I'm the convener, the host of this teaching, where we just come to pray and to and for me to share God's word on how to from the little that I know on how to secure our word for manifestation. Praise be the name of of the lord and this 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 happens every first three days of the new month today is day two praise be the name of the lord and we have been talking since the year began on abiding because we cannot seek our word for manifestation if we are not hid in christ anyways so we cannot secure our word for manifestation and as our custom is we first of all pray we need to tarry praise be the name of the lord and while I was thinking of what to pray about today, praise be the name of the Lord, as I was taking my walk, the Lord just gave me some prayers to pray. Um, we are going to be praying and asking God for the grace to surrender. We are going to be praying and asking God for the grace to surrender one only to God and his word. Because every day, every day as a believer, there is temptations here and there. Praise be the name of the Lord. And without God's grace, we will fall. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are going to be opening our mouth and, and asking God for grace to surrender only. To surrender only. As in, to surrender everything that we have to God and his word. Nothing holding us back. You know the book of the, the book of Proverbs 4.18 says the part of a of a just is like a shining light. Another scripture says, another version says, the path of the righteous is like a shining light that shines more and more. And when we surrender to the Lord, our path shines more and more. And the world will see the light. Those around us will see the light of Christ and they want to know God. So open your mouth and begin to pray that throughout this month and the remaining days of this year, Lord, I need grace to surrender. Nothing shall be too hard for me to do when it comes to your word. Nothing shall be too hard for me to do when it comes to your word. Lord, I receive grace to surrender. 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 Grace to surrender. For or to surrender my all 
for your word unto you, Lord, to surrender my all for everything you say in the word. Grace to surrender. Grace to surrender I receive in the name of Jesus Christ because I want my path to be as a shining light daily, daily, daily until the day I draw my last breath on earth. I want grace, Lord. I receive grace, Lord, to surrender to you, to surrender to you throughout this month of July. Throughout this month of July, I want to surrender to you and you alone. I will not bow to anything that is not you, Lord. I will not bow to anything that is not you, Lord. I will not bow to anything that is not you, Lord. I will not bow to my flesh. I will not bow to the world. I will not bow to temptations. I will not bow. I will not concede defeat. I will not concede defeat. I will fight from victory. Lord, I ask for your grace. I ask for your grace. I ask for your grace to surrender. I cannot do it on my own. I cannot do this on my own. Without you, I am powerless. Without you, I am powerless. Father, Lord, I surrender to you and as I surrender, give me grace to surrender myself, to surrender everything in me to you and your word. Throughout this month of July, everything your word says I should do, I will do by your power that is at work in me. By your power that is at work in me. By your power that is at work in me. I will do in the name of Jesus. If we look at the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verses 18. He says, I pray that the eyes of your heart, uh, of your, so the, the, another scripture says, the eyes of your understanding uh, may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glory, of his glorious inheritance in his people. I'm reading the NIV version. He said, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of this glorious inheritance of his holy people because we are his holy people we are believers we are going to ask lord open my eyes open the eyes of my understanding to your word open the eyes of my understanding to your word open my uh, the eyes of my understanding to your word whenever you send me your word whenever i study your word open the eyes of my understanding holy spirit of god break every scripture to me Break every scripture to me accordingly. Let it be simple enough for me to understand. Let the instructions come to me swiftly. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord. Another scripture say, open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. And wondrous things out of the word is what we are asking. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open the eyes of my understanding to know the hope which you have called me for. To know the hope of every word that you release to me. To to know the hope that is embedded in every word that you release to me. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. To know your word, to know your ways. Help me to walk in the way everlasting. Joshua told the people of Israel, he said, choose whom, choose whom this day that you will serve. As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. Lord, I declare and I declare that my generation, my children will serve you. And we choose you, Lord. We choose you, Lord. Grace for my children to always choose you, no matter what. Grace for my children to always 
always choose you no matter what grace for my children to always choose you no matter what in the name of jesus What are we praying for? That the eyes of our understanding may be enlightened so that we may know the hope that he has called us for so that we may know the hope that is embedded in every word that we receive. Pray in your in your in your known tongue and pray pray in the spirit. Pray in your understanding and pray in the spirit. Father Lord, I pray that my eyes will be on, and my, my, that, that, that the eyes of my understanding be open, that the eyes of my understanding be enlightened, in order to know the hope that which is in your word that you have given me for this month of July, the month that you told me to expect, the month that you told me that you would do exceedingly abundantly above all that I could ever ask or think, according to the power that is at work in me. You told me because you have told me, ask me to wait, and I am still waiting. You said, therefore, by faith, I will receive everything that I have hoped for. I pray that the eyes of my heart, the eyes of my heart will be enlightened to know that which is in your word for me in this month of in this month of july every instruction oh lord i ask that my eyes see it i ask that my ears hear it i ask that my spirit aligns to every dictate every instruction you have for me in this month in the name of jesus i will obey it i will obey it pray that god gives you grace to obey every instruction that is what carries for you pray Grace, O Lord, Grace, O Lord, Press in, press in. 
Tarry, ask for grace that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened in order to know the hope to which he has called you via his word. That thing, that word that he has given you, there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. And one of the grand reasons for every word we receive is that God's glory be seen. Is that God's glory be seen. It has God's glory be seen. Is that is that we will show forth as sons. Lord, give me grace. Lord, give me grace to walk with your word, to walk by your word, to, in, to, 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 to obey every instruction in your word. The path of the just is like a shining light, and it shines more and more to the perfect day. Father, Lord, I want to be a shining light. I want to be a shining light. I want my path to shine for all to see. I want my life to be an attraction for the world to see. For your glory and your glory alone. For your glory and your glory alone. For your glory and your glory alone. Three minutes more. Press in. Pray. Pray that the eyes of your heart, of your light, of your heart, of your, of your understanding be enlightened in order that you may know the hope that which he has called you for. That I may know the reason for every word. That I may know the reason for every word. That I may receive clarity on every word that I take. On every word you send to me. On every word you send to me, because I know that every of your word carries an inheritance for me. Every word of God carries an inheritance. There is no weak word in the Bible. There is no word in the in the in the Bible that does not carry power. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, to know. One minute more, pressing, few seconds more. I ask for grace, grace to walk your word. I cannot do it by my power. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot walk the word by our power. We cannot walk the word of God by our power alone. Lord, give me and deal with me with power. Open the eyes of my understanding. Open the eyes of my understanding. To know, to know that which your word is saying to me in this month. You know that which your word says to me part time. In the name of Jesus. 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 To know your word, to know your word. To know your word, to know your word. To know your word, to know your word. I want to know your word. I want to know you, my father, my king. Father, thank you. Jehovah Lord, we give you glory. Blessed be you, Lord. Blessed be you, Lord. 
Father, I thank you. Jehovah, I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we have tarried and we have prayed tonight, grace is released unto us to be able to do the word. Hayakaba. To understand this word and to be able to discern it and to be able to do it. Do whatever it takes to make the word secured in our life. In Jesus, mighty, matchless name. Amen and amen and amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yesterday, we continued on the series called Abiding, which I have been on since January. Because I found out that, um, and because of because of the book I, I read by my pastor, Pastor Bidemi Makamodi, um, the book is titled Abiding. And I would say that that book has really opened up my eyes to the things to do. And the book is anchored on the scripture, um, Psalms 91.1. 1. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Praise be the name of the Lord. Today I want to concentrate. I, I, I said I wouldn't I won't I won't be teaching and typing at the same time so that I can hear God well and um, be able to to um concentrate and and teach this and share this. Praise be the name of the Lord. Yesterday I concluded that dying daily. To securing our word for manifestation. Dying daily is important. To securing our word for manifestation. Because it is to die daily. Because to die daily. Is to be able to follow God's instructions. I say to die daily. Is to surrender all to Jesus. By doing his word. To die daily in the content. In the, in the contest. In the contest of securing your word for manifestation. Is that we are able to obey God's instruction to the latter. There is nothing holding us back. There is nothing holding us. There is nothing. There is no way that is easily besetting us. There is nothing holding us back. I say the effect of us as believers dying daily to the things of the world, to the things of the flesh. That does not make us dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Is that is that we we begin to attract? We be an attraction to all. And what I mean by dying daily is dying to sin, dying to everything that is not of God, and saying being alive in Christ, being alive to everything that is Christ. I shared with us. On the posture a believer should take to die daily. I said we must take every day as a gift. I said every day we receive, it will be accounted for according to the book of Matthew 12, 36. He said we will give account on the day of judgment. Everything, every day we live will be accounted for. Number three, I said as believers, we must know that everything that happens to us today impacts on our tomorrow. Nothing happens to us by chance as believers. So we should not live our life to chance. That, well, anything goes, anything that comes. Yes, the will of God will be done, will surrender to God's will. But we know that, that the things, how you undo, how you undo the challenges, the seasons that we are, how we undo it today, impacts on our tomorrow. The word of God that he releases to us, how we undo it today, it depends, on the, 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 the way we undo the word depends on how we will give, how we will undo another word tomorrow. And it shows in our maturity. I will undo God's words. His instruction shows how we mature, we grow in God. And I said again, number four, the posture of a believer that dies daily is that we must be very aware of how we live. We must be very aware. 
I said, our life as believers is the Bible that some people are looking at. They won't carry the Bible, but they will use us as an example. They want to emulate the life we live. So we must be aware. An unaware believer is a powerless believer. An unaware believer is a powerless believer. Is a powerless believer. We must be aware. We must be aware of our word. Praise be the name of the Lord. Number five, I say as believers, we must die daily. We die daily because there's a reward. Genesis 15. The one part, one, verses one, one, one A or one B. He said, I am your shield, your great reward. Revelations 22, 12 says, I am coming soon and my reward is with me. So today I'm going to share on the gains of dying daily as a believer. The gains of dying daily as a believer to securing our word for manifestation. Pay attention and listen to me. Self-preservation in our work with God is the first sign that we are not open to dying daily. We cannot, we cannot self-preserve. We cannot self-preserve when it comes to securing our word for, for manifestation. We cannot self-preserve when it comes to securing our word for manifestation. Because whatever it takes is what we must do. It takes is what we must do. Hallelujah. We cannot self-preserve. Self-preservation, self-preservation is the first sign that we are not open to dying daily. A believer that is not ready to lay down anything, that, 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 that a believer that is not ready to lay down any and everything that is not of God is not fit for the kingdom. A believer that is not ready to lay down something, a believer that is not ready, a believer that is not ready to lay down something, Is not fit for the kingdom. Yes, such believer is not fit for the kingdom. Jesus laid down his life. A believer that is not ready to give up anything is not fit for the kingdom. God gave us his son, Jesus. I need you to pay attention. A believer that is not ready to lay down something is not fit for the kingdom because something must die in you if we are going to take the cross of Jesus on our backs. We must give up something. We must give up something. Jesus gave his life. And by his blood, we are who we are today in him. By his blood, by the laying down of his life, we can come to the Father. We can come rushing in into the kingdom of God. God, himself, our Father, had to give up his son for us. So why can't we Give up something as well. I mentioned yesterday that there are gains in dying to self. 
they are gains in dying to self and the world and following Christ by abiding in God. John 3, 16. Jesus gave his life. God gave his son. For God so loved the world that he gave. For God so loved the world that he gave. So to abide in the secret place of the Most High, because the anchor for this abiding is Psalm 91, 1. For us to abide in the secret place of the Most High and to dwell under the shadow of the Almighty, that something has to leave us. Something has to leave us. Praise be the name of the Lord. Something must be laid down. Any believer who does not, who is not ready to lay something down at the altar, to lay something down to enter into the kingdom, is not fit for the kingdom. A believer who has no sense of laying anything down cannot see his word or our word manifesting because there is something to do. Every word we receive causes us to die daily. Every word we receive causes us to die, causes something to die in us so that we are fit to carry on with the word so that the word can be made manifest. A believer who has no sense of laying anything down cannot see. Is our word manifesting? Pay attention. cannot see his word manifest in their life. Whenever a believer, whenever we as believers, as believers embrace dying, that is when we gain spiritual perspective into the word that we receive. Higher! Because the Bible says the word that I speak, their spirit and their life. So it will take the, our spirit to understand what the word is saying. And it takes a dying in our spirit man, in our flesh, to be able to communicate and interpret the word of God. And that dying stirs up the grace to run with the word. To see that it manifests. Listen to me. Without us dying daily, without us laying something down, we are just joking. We are just believers that are jokers. We are just a joker believer. When we feel everything, we, 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 we can't live normal as believers. We are supposed to be weird. I said it yesterday. The word needs to see us and see that there is a difference. This person is different. It's okay to be weird as a, as a believer. Because being weird shows that, yes, you know what you're doing. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We are in this world. But we are not of this world. I need to get where that scripture is. Ah, ya kaburi de ki bayara kasinde de de ki bayara kasanda da da kaba. Ye kaburi de ki bayara kasinde de de ki boye ki bayara kasanda da 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 da. Baya kasinde de de ki boye ki bayara kasanda da 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 da. Ye kaburi de ki bayara kasinde de de ki boye ki bayara kasanda da da da. Ye kaburi de de ki bayara kaba kaba. Yes, John. John seventeen sixteen. I am not of this world. Though we are in this world, but we are not. 
Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We are far above, far above, far above. Praise be the name of the Lord. When we embrace dying as a believer, it makes us gain perspective. Dying daily, dying daily makes us gain spiritual perspective to God's word. To God's word. So we don't just read the word as a normal word. We don't just receive the word and sit on it. We know that there's a reason that God gives us that word. And the word earnestly waits, Romans 8, 19, for the manifestations of the sons of God. It is when we walk our word, when our word manifests, that is when the world will see the manifestation of the sons of God. When we die daily, we begin to see as God sees. Haya kabuli de kiba. We begin to see through the eyes of God. Because we begin to, as we see through the eyes of the, the Spirit, it, it means we are seeing through the eyes of God Himself. We begin to gain spiritual perspective of God's Word. We begin to know the instructions and follow the instructions that is embedded in our Word. Because there is no Word that we receive that does not have an instruction by it. Remember that when we receive our word, we don't just sit on it. We must pray. We must ask questions. We must gain clarity. We must have spiritual perspective on what next is required to do and to see our word manifest. It is when we, are, we die daily. It is when we die daily that God's spirit in us Quickens our mortal bodies. The book of Romans 8 26, it said, The Spirit of God helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we should pray, but the Spirit helps us to gain clarity, perspective by interceding for us as we pray. Because we die daily, God's Spirit quickens us. Quickens our mortal bodies. Because the spirit who raised up Jesus is in us. The book of Romans 8. Romans 8, 11. Praise be the name of the Lord. I need to write the scripture down because it just came to me. Romans 8, 11. He said, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. So there is, there must be a dying. There must be a dying in our spirit. There must be a dying and letting go of something. There must be a dying. Before the spirit of the of him who raised the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will come and quicken our mortal bodies. Because our spirit man needs the spirit of God. Our spirit man needs the spirit of God. Our spirit man, I need to write it down. Our spirit man needs the spirit of God. Romans 8, 11. It is when we, are, we die daily, it is when we have, we've laid down something. Then the spirit of God helps us in our weakness. It rises on our prayers. And it, it gives us clarity. 
It gives us spiritual perspective. He intercedes for us as we pray. I kid you not to secure your word for manifestation. There must be a new us, really. A new us indeed. A regenerated us indeed. A consecrated us indeed. A renewed us indeed. Praise be the name of the Lord. What does dying daily do to us? What does dying daily do to us? Dying daily makes us practice spiritual discipline. We are spiritually disciplined when we die daily. We don't just fall. We don't just fall for temptation. We don't, we don't fall on our faces anymore to temptation. Because we are already dead to temptation. We are dead to sin. The spirit of the living God lives in us. is alive in us. That is what dying daily does. It makes us practice the spiritual discipline. Number two, what does dying daily do to us? Dying daily makes us live perpetually in awe and wonder of God. Dying daily makes us become, it, dying daily does not make us become too familiar with God. We are always in awe and in wonder of the sovereignty of the Father. We call him Father. We call him God. We know the difference between the two. As God the Father and God as God. Dying daily makes us live perpetually in awe and wonder of God. Truly, we know because we know. That without him we are nothing. That without him we are nothing. That without sending his word, without receiving his word, we are nothing. We cannot grow without his word. We cannot understand the father without his word. We cannot know his heart without his word. So we continually and perpetually live in awe and wonder. Of our God. That was that is what dying daily does. Number three, what does dying daily do to us? That dying daily makes us submit to discipleship. It makes us submit. We begin. We be, we 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 belong to a local assembly church. We belong to a church. We take part of every spiritual activity. We submit ourselves to the teachings of our pastors. Of our bishops, of our past, of our apostles, because we know that we can't journey on this earth alone. We need shepherd that will shepherd us on the right path. So we belong to a Bible believing church. We we'll listen to the teaching. We we'll partake on every spiritual activity. That makes us grow in God. Listen to me. There is a level we cannot attain in God if we do not submit to being discipled. If we do not submit to being discipled, there's a level that we cannot attain in God. If we do not submit ourselves to being discipled, to being shepherded by the one that God has ordained to us to lead us in this life. And by through our pastors, through our spiritual mothers and fathers, through our fathers and mothers in the faith. There is always something we do not know yet. And until we submit to the discipleship, of the one that God has chosen for us. We will not know it. That thing will not be revealed to us. Listen and listen good. And pay attention. Number four. 
What does dying daily do to us? Dying daily make us grow. It makes us desire the meat of the word. It makes us grow from being babies that, 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 that desire the milk of the word. But we now eat the meat of the word. Growth. Dying daily makes us grow. We grow in God when we submit to dying. And do you know what growth does? Growth closes any gap that we may have in our life, in our spiritual journey. When we grow in the word, when we grow in God, as we journey with him, it makes every gap that we have, it closes every crack on the world in our lives. It closes gaps. There are gaps that need to be closed permanently in our, in our lives as believers. As believers, there are gaps that need to be closed permanently. That is why we have issues among us as believers. Because there are gaps that are so open. There are cracks on our walls. Because we have refused to submit and to keep dying daily so that we can come alive. In Christ. There are gaps in us, in our lives, in us, that needs to be permanently closed. Unclosed gaps make believers fall prey to the enemy. And we fall flat on our faces because we have gaps. And the only way to close this gap is for us to accept, embrace dying, embrace dying daily, embrace dying daily. Because of our own selves, we can achieve nothing. Except by the Spirit of God that lives in us. Listen to me. Listen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Listen to me. Dying. Dying daily. I must have said this word like a zillion times, but dying daily is total and absolute surrender to the will of God. And what is the will of God? His word is his will. His word is his will for us. Many of us are saying, okay, I want to know the will of God for me. His word is his will. Have you done everything in the word? Are you living by the standard of the word? Because God's word is his will for us. Dying daily is total and absolute surrender to the will of God. To recognize that our life is God's. And anything he says is what goes. The will of God is for us to do his word. The will of God is for us to obey him. And everything that we should do and not do is written in the word. As I ran off, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. As believers, dying to self is achievable by the help of the Holy Spirit. Dying to self is achievable. Romans 8, 11. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in us, he also he, 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 he is living in you. He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. So dying daily is achievable. To every believer, it is achievable. Do not believe the lie of the devil that you cannot live above sin. 
you fall, you rise. You fall, you rise. You fall, you rise. You fall, you rise. Till you achieve it. I fall down, I rise. I fall, I arise. I fall, I arise. I acabo. Till I achieve it. Till sin remains dead in our lives. It is achievable. Dying daily is achievable. Pay attention. The value of our life in Christ is in dying. The value of our life in Christ is in dying daily. Because it is only after we are dead to self and alive in Christ that we truly become useful to the Father. What is the usefulness of a sinner to securing God's word for manifestation? What's the usefulness of a sinner? He will receive the word and sit on it. Because sin will not even allow us walk our word for manifestation. We receive the word and just leave it and continue in our sinful ways. And continue the value of our life in Christ is in dying daily. Because it is only after we are dead to self and alive in Christ that we are truly be, that we truly become useful to God. That is, that is when He sets us, sends us His word. That is when He sends His word to us, and we walk it, and His glory is seen, and the word manifests, and we now become sons. That the world is waiting for because of the manifestation of the world that he has given us. A believer who has not yet died to something cannot manifest the word that is sent to them. This is where I'll conclude tonight. A believer. Who has not yet died? Who has not yet died to something that comes between him and his father, that comes between us and our father, cannot manifest the word that is sent. Praise be the name of the Lord. This is where I will hang it on tonight. And I will conclude this series of abiding for this month. And will continue again in the month of August. I would like to give an opportunity for anyone listening that has not yet given their life to Jesus. Because you can receive the word and manifest it if you are not a child of God yet. So say these seven short words with me. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. It's as simple as that. With the heart we believe and with the mouth we confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. And this is a word for you. This is a word for you to come into the kingdom. God has prepared this word for you to listen to. So that you can enter into the kingdom. So that he can begin to share his word with you. Praise be the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. If you have said that prayer tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you're listening from, welcome. I welcome you to the kingdom of light. My name is Anoluwa Posimi Adeleko. 
and I convey, I host this every first three days of the new month, securing your word for manifestation. We pray. And I share the word. And if you have anything to add or to share, you request for the mic to speak. Praise be the name of the Lord. I pray that you continually encounter Akirishore. Akirishore is means Akirishore is, is from my native language. I'm Yoruba. Akirishore means good doer. The one who goes about to do good. And it's taken from the scripture. My ministry. Acts 10 38. And God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and the power. And from then on, Jesus went about to do good. I pray that you continually encounter Jesus. Akirishore, the good doer God. All the days of your life. If you've given your life to Christ and you have anything to say, any question that you might ask, have, please send me a DM. Send me a DM. I will respond. The Holy Spirit will give you an answer of peace. Praise be the name of the Lord. I'll see you again tomorrow for day three. is our last day tomorrow. Praise be today because it's past 12. At 11 p.m. in the evening. Praise be the name of the Lord. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. God, remember to secure what for manifestation is to abide in God. And there must be a dying in us as believers daily to be able to secure what for manifestation. God bless you. Amen.